This is classic andalusite. It's the large crystal in the middle, uh, moderate relief, um, but it's got that really distinctive chiastolite cross. So chiastolite is that, that cross-shaped pattern um, in these large crystals. In orientations like this, when you cross the polars, the end sections of minerals often have very low interference colors. Um, Andalusite generally does have low interference colors, but this is not really the orientation to test that with. Now this is the orientation to, to test it with. The long axis of the Andalusite is in the plane of the thin section. Um, and uh, you may see there's a little pink core um, right now, it's just a little bit to the right of the center of the crosshairs. Uh, but when you cross the polars here, then you see, yeah, it really does have low uh, first order interference colors up to sort of a yellowy orange. Um, again, you can sort of see that chiastolite structure to it. An unusual characteristic of andalusite is that it can be pleochroic pink. Um, oftentimes it's only the cores that are, that are pink and the rims are not. And so I think what you're looking at here is an, an andalusite crystal with a pink pleochroic core and um, not pleochroic rim. And, and again, this is the long axis is in the plane of the thin section and you can see it has very low interference colors. This is actually a gigantic andalusite crystal. It exceeds the field of view here with a bunch of inclusions in it. Here, quartz and biotite are uh, in the center. And I put this in here for relief. It's, it's moderate relief. When you cross the polars, you'll see it's all that gray background, has a lot of quartz inclusions in it. So you may want to go back and, and take a look at the plain polarized light image to see how that um, sort of background material is a little bit higher relief than the quartz. Okay, I couldn't really resist. It's another chiastolite. There might be a very slight pink pleochroism in the core. It was a little hard for me to tell. But again, this is just so characteristic of prismatic um, andalusite. If you get a chance, you should look at the silimonite video tutorial um, because it's got silimonite after andalusite and you can see that chiastolite structure but now converted to silimonite subgrains.